Hello, so today I wanted to talk um, a little bit more about uh, the importance of being present uh, during your competition, during a game. And I've definitely talked about this, but I wanted to dive into this a little bit more because I've had one of my clients, you know, they asked a lot of questions around what to do, you know, in the middle of the game, especially maybe after a mistake or this person's a, a tennis player when they're doing the crossover. Um, you know, what does that look like? And there's obviously a lot of tools and things that we look at around the game, you know, their preparation, what they're doing before, you know, they head into the competition and then obviously even after maybe doing some, you know, purposeful self-reflection that helps to, you know, them to get a little bit curious, understand what's going on and then find what they can do moving forward in their control to make something better. But what I was telling him is that in the moment when you are in the middle of competition or in a game, the most important thing to do is to bring yourself to being present, right? So when we make a mistake, the mistake is not the issue, it's what happens to our focus generally when we have made a mistake. It usually gets locked in on that mistake and now that mistake is in the past, so it's out of your control and it in one sense doesn't exist anymore, it's, it's done. But if you're still focusing on it or now it's created maybe some negative thoughts or now you're worrying about the future, right? It's influencing your focus and that now becomes the issue. It's not the mistake itself, it's that now you have lost the ability in that moment potentially to being present. So really the key is it's not about analyzing the mistake or trying to figure out what happened, you know, that caused the mistake in that moment. It is about, okay, what can you do to bring yourself back to being present? That is the key in the middle of competition or in the middle of the game. You can use your time afterwards when the competition is done or the game is done to kind of analyze and look at, okay, how could you have done that better? What could you do better moving forward? Especially if you do videotape yourself, right? That makes it even easier because now you don't have to go 100% off of memory and you can look at the videotape. So in the moment, the key is bringing yourself back to the present moment. and. You know, obviously there's various ways that can help with this. The self-reflection is, is a part of that because sometimes when we know we're going to do the self-reflection, we know we're going to analyze our performance afterwards, it helps us to kind of let go of that need to do it, you know, in the moment. And then obviously finding tools to kind of bring ourselves back to present, usually pulling our focus back external in the moment is really, really key. But that's really a big thing, but it does take... Um, skill development it takes the ability to really look at yourself as a human to really look at what hooks you what pulls you why it hooks you why it pulls you why are you focusing on the mistake uh, what circumstances or what elements within yourself usually get you into a mental state that you will maybe dwell a little bit more on mistakes or maybe future trip a little bit more there's all of these things and this is why it's not only important to develop mental skills that's one side of sports psychology but there's a whole other component of um, sports psychology that you know you need to understand yourself and understand your tendencies understand who you are go a little bit deeper as i've mentioned in other videos like looking at what is your fear maybe around rejection or your self-worth tied to your outcomes um, where's your emotional arousal level what causes that you know do you have any stressors around just the circumstances of your sport just the the day-to-day -day life the day-to-day -day, um, you know situations that exist for you whether that's the politics or other things like that that are existing that maybe are influencing you, influencing your mental state, right? So you have to go beyond just mental skills. Mental skills are important and they do help us, but there's a lot of things that contribute to our ability to be present in a moment. And as I said, in the middle of competition, in the middle of the game, that is key. That is the only thing you really need to be focusing on is bring yourself back to being present.